Okay, so now we're going to get a look of uh, each section of the planner. We start with get things done. So we're going to open get things done. And we have this navigation bar. Okay, so we can uh, smoothly navigate through, throughout the planner. So we have daily planner, wiki planner, monthly planner, hero journey, journey, goal setting. This is very interesting. My reward, inbox, and prioritize guys. So we started with daily planner. And the daily planner is basically the, the daily focus in the dashboard. So here you can see all your daily things that you see database that you have the week, the weekday, the month, the year. So basically the one with the exclamation mark are reminder. You cannot edit that because they work with a formula. So basically this formula tell you which day is of the week, in which week we are and what is the month and the year. So this is just to have everything organized. Other things is if we go back and we go to the weekly planner, because you can also organize your task at a weekly level. So this is the weekly planner and we're going to open up one so you can see how it's designed. Okay, so we have the week and this entry, you actually need to create it. If you want to track your weekly plan, you can do that by adding a week spread here. And you're gonna say you can set the date range and then you can set a month. So basically this feel uh, that uh, feed that month monthly planner. So where the monthly planner defeats the weeks database, defeats the daily planner. Our week, we have the brain dump. This is the same database. They are interconnected. We are the inbox as always is the same inbox, say database that you see in the daily focus planner. And then we have some habits. If you want to track the habits by week. And this has a recurring template. You, you need to edit the template and then automatically it's going to only show the current week to track. So you can track Monday, Tuesday, etc. And the, the useful thing here is that you will not be overwhelmed by Abby's uh, week. Uh, tracking that you never complete. You just see the one in end and you can even don't use this template at all. And then we go to uh, the monthly planner. This is another way we can track our, our schedule. So you see that I already inserted from January to December. So if I open up a month, this is the overview that I will have. And remember that this task Okay, the tasks that you see are interconnected. So it's the same database. So you can see how it's flexible and allow you to choose the way you want to plan your day. So we have the month overview. So you can see this is the same database, but uh, from a calendar view, we can add our month focus and this important event. So this is going to show important events that are for that particular month. And then we have uh, our, as usual, our inbox and our brain up. Another thing I want to show you the inbox page. This is the task manager is what uh, feeds every, every inbox task. Do it later, boring, but, but important stuff. This is the database. You can see we can have a calendar so we can add things by uh, calendar. We have a timeline. There is no reason to go in this database you can you can use the monthly database the monthly planner the weekly planner or the daily planner but if you want you can add event directly here okay and you can also add reminder there are some useful information throughout the planner prioritize guide so basically this is based on this solve with grid framework okay there was uh, formulated by Tamara Rosier you can there is a link so you you want to check out but basically there is an explanation of how EHD brain works 
and so there is this some sort of quadrant that are going to give you an idea of how to prioritize and schedule your day and we have this inbox and we have by solve it by grid so for example we have some tasks that are not assigned to any quadrant and we can add to quadrant so do the laundry is yellow because yellow are uh, the ADHD craptony so these tasks are not fun or stimulating this is the I should be doing task and then you can have this filtering inside the daily planner the weekly planner the monthly planner then we have the rewards so you can set your rewards okay in the setup page and so basically this is if you complete every task for you you can uh, reward yourself after with some activities some fun activities so for example there is some activities that I add but you can add your own just by clicking new add a reward and okay you can add uh, I don't know uh, a reward like bubble bath or something like that and maybe I already use that but just to make an example and this is mostly get things done I'm going to show you in another video the hero journey goal setting because it's a complex system uh, and it, I want to give it all the, the space that it needs.